Now, almost four months after one of the worst shootings that the country has seen, residents of Nomzamo Park in Soweto are still battling to make sense of that tragic event. In fact, back in July, a group of uh, men opened fire at a tavern in Orlando East, killing 16 people. Weeks later, six people were gunned down in fine town. In both areas, police deployed the tactical response team. That's Ama Berete. But have they actually really managed to stabilize things? Well, Mijum Africa's Zikona Chona went back to that area. Nomzamo Park made headlines in July when the country woke up to news that 16 patrons had been shot and killed in a tavern. It's alleged that heavily armed men entered the tavern in Orlando East and went on a rampage. Lubabalo Mdambo was inside the tavern at the time, enjoying drinks with friends. He says when the shots went off, they thought it was fireworks until he saw a gun. I'm so traumatized because... We <laughs> After the incident, government leaders, including Jobek Mayam Popalaze and Police Minister Begikele, visited the area. In a meeting, residents voiced their frustration about a lack of visible policing. The feared Amaberede, which are part of the special tactical response team, were deployed to the area. Ndambo says the visit and the deployment did help. Children have not been spared from the trauma. For this 17-year-old seeing a car that resembles the one that the alleged criminals are said to have jumped out of shakes him. People here say life will never be the same after what happened, especially for children who speak about what happened so clearly and painfully so. While there is acknowledgement that policing has improved, psychological support is still needed. Last month, six people were shot and killed in Fine Town in the south of Johannesburg. Residents there have also complained about poor policing and have been promised an improvement by Police Minister Peggy Kele. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I'm Zikona Chona in Nomzamo Park in Orlando East.